Hello everyone and welcome back to Corona Space Persona 5. Today, well, we're in the present, finally. Uh, after 90 plus hours, I think we're at like 95 hours? 98 hours, okay. Asshole, can, can you delete saves? <laughs> Cause I was loading the I was loading the save and I'm like, oh God, please don't accidentally delete this. I like, yeah, I don't wanna have to go through everything again. Even though I guess it wouldn't be that much from the, uh, the save mid cutscene. Anyways, let's talk to everyone here. Yeah. Oh, by the way, the police report on your death isn't gonna show up at, at your school. No need to worry. Uh, seems prosecutor Najiba worked out some kind of deal with the higher ups or something. I mean, they haven't even said anything to me even. As long as you stay quiet, you'll be fine. So you're gonna make me go to school? All in, like, really? Okay, fine. I guess if they reported your death now, they'd be they'd basically be saying you were a phantom thief. They can't really go announcing what a phantom thief, what the phantom thieves are, so I'm sure they'll avoid that. Okay, anything else? No. Hello, Morgana. Well. That reminds me, your relationship with Akechi unexpectedly grew stronger, didn't it? Even though Akechi was taking, uh, talking to the fake you at the time. How do you know? Do you have access to my menu screen? That's true. Akechi met with the cognitive you in a palace. I don't know what he said to that version of you in there, but we should make use of this. And if anything else, it shows our operation was a special success. How do you know that? I'm now really curious about you, Morgana. Hello, Futaba. Remember how I hijacked your phone during the school trip? That kind of came in handy. Uh, how so? <laughs> Not interested. Well, remember how I put that wiretap app in Akechi's phone? Basically, that let me see GPS info on two uh, for two phones, yours and his. Now what? Now what could I do with that info? I'd be able to tell the precise moment Sai Najima, would, uh, who had your phone, ran into a catchy. That's when I saw my chance and beep, sent the signal to activate the Metaverse nav uh, navigator. But there was a the, there was a chance that they'd pass each other without say, uh, saying a single a single word. That would have probably been bad. You're not wrong. That's why we needed you to tell uh, Sai Nijima to show the phone to Akechi. Oh. That plan still impresses me no matter how many times I hear it. But. Still, I couldn't just directly hack into the Metaverse app. It's a mysterious app after all. But uh, but you know how it was that bookmark? It has that bookmark function? All you have to do is push the button. Making the phone think he, uh, he was pushing that button was totally doable. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good, huh? Yeah? Uh, I, it may not have looked like it, but everyone else was risking their lives too. Though there's no doubt you were the most at risk. Yeah, I mean, pretty sure I was the only one that had a gun pointed at their head multiple times during this. I mean, you actually got arrested. But it seems like all the drugs and stuff made, uh, made you forget the details of the plan. Want me to explain how it all went down? It might take a bit. All right. Well, since the rest of us didn't get captured, we had to act. We had to pretend we never went to, uh, wanted you to... We, wait, we had to pretend we never wanted you to get arrested. Pretend the suicide news was a real shock. Basically, we had to act like we didn't know anything 24-7. It's been two days! What? <laughs> Has it been more than two days? Am I missing something? The enemy knows who you, we are, so we, did, we couldn't let our guard down even once while you were in there or while you were gone. If they had had people watching us and realized what our plan was, they would have killed you immediately. Want to hear more? Sure. Another tough part was figuring out how to get Sai and Nojima and Nakechi back from the metaverse. In order to return to reality, you have to go back to the point where you came into the metaverse. I did not know that. So Sai and Nakechi had to go through where the na uh, nav activated, as in the hall where they met. Nakechi would just would just come back the same way after the assassination. The real issue was Sai Nijima. We needed to stop her for uh, stop her for a moment before she headed back towards the interrogation room. But nothing can be sent to a phone inside the palace, so I had to program I had to program the messages in beforehand. In doing so, I made it seem like the messages were coming at the exact moment in time. Interesting. That part was kind of last minute, so I had to pull an all-nighter trying to get it set up. I'm, I'm really on a roll here. Want to hear more? Sure. Um, Let me see. Another problematic thing was... Oh, oh yeah. Tying a catchy up. What? You mean like figuratively, right? That was a, that was really tough. 
Uh, I obviously don't mean the real Akechi, even if we could do that, it would ruin our plan. The one we had to tie up was Sai Najima's cognitive Akechi. Oh, really? That part's really complicated. I know you're tired, but you sure you want to? You sure you want to hear all this now? Sure. Right, let's go. Well, we needed to lure Akechi to Sinajima's palace and have him kill the cognitive Alec. Uh, but Akechi would have entered the palace immediately after meeting Sinajima in the hallway, right? Because of that, there was a pretty decent chance he'd run into the cognitive Akechi. And if that happened, Akechi would have totally realized we had lured him into a palace. Nobody actually even thought of that possibility up until the night before the assassination. Makoto realized in the middle of the night, then it was a huge mess trying to figure out what to do. In the end, we chose to sneak into the metaverse while the plan was happening to tie up the cognition. Because you told Sai to show him the phone, we expected her to chat with him for at least a bit. So we had a few minutes to strike after the cognitive Akechi showed up, but before the nav activated. It was Operation Tie Him Up! Though it was really, it wasn't really much of an operation in the end. <sighs> Thankfully, Sai Jiba didn't know his true, true nature, so the one that appeared was the original uh, ordinary kid. It was pretty simple surrounding him, knocking him out and tossing him on the uh, on another floor. But man, watching Makoto's skill was super amazing. I guess she does use knuckles as her weapons. I guess she does. Yeah. You do not know that? I mean, she's been using them for a while. Basically, what I'm trying to say is, appreciate what everyone else did. All sorts, of, all, all sorts of stuff happened. Phew, I just can't help but rant when I'm talking about stuff that interests me. Sorry about that, just focus on wrestling up. You don't have to worry about anything else. And seriously, well done, Alex. Alright, everyone's gray? Okay, good. I'm going to bed. You all, you all can stay here, just don't wake me up. I mean, that wasn't too long, that was like three minutes of her backstory. Do I still have to go to school? What are you telling me? I guess that makes sense. Does Becky know I almost died? She's probably not going to be happy about that. Apparently, Ketchy arrested the leader of the Phantom Thieves. He's a hero. I'm so glad Ketchy's back. I hope they can catch the rest of the Phantom Thieves too. He is really amazing. I'm pretty sure he's a psychopath, but all right. Also, that was hilarious. It's like, I'm gonna kill you now. <laughs> you feel your bond growing deeper with the catchy. Like, really? All right. I guess I want to put it somewhere, right? Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> Ryu, what are you doing on the <laughs> the train, dog? There's no point in even having an election and Shido's gonna win. Of course, he's really the only reliable politician there is. Plus, the current government has been getting wrapped up in the scandal after scandal. Even more importantly, there is just an aura about him, like he can fix whatever problems we have. Honestly, it doesn't really matter to me who does it, I just want to see our society back on track. Especially after it turned out those Phantom Thieves were nothing more than the scum in the end. Than scum in the end. <laughs> we'll show you. Okay, calm down, Ryuji. Am I controlling Ryuji as he goes to school? Because that's going to be weird. Hey, nice, nice hoodie there, buddy. I heard you went home, so I announced it during the homeroom. Are you okay? You're a bad teacher. I am, thanks. You're alive! The news is reporting you committed suicide. Call me when you can. I was so confused. But as long as you're safe, don't worry about school. Just take care of yourself, heart. Ah, That makes me feel bad inside a little bit. So I don't have to go to school? But I have to watch... Oh, motherfuck! Really? <laughs> God damn it. Is it true the leader of the Phantom Thieves died? How could the police just let him commit suicide in jail? They need to get their shit together. Cut that out. Quiet down. You're in class. Briggs been over for quite some time now. I swear, you're like a monkey in the zoo. Hmm. Oh yeah. I received word from Noah's family that he'll be absent for a bit. Jeez, what do you people think school is anyways? It's almost time. Is it? I thought I had a month. Got like a month though, right? We're not gonna wait the whole month. But I totally want to max out some confidant. Hey, it can't be true, can it? Please tell me you're okay. Oh man, I really wish like it had the <laughs> it had the choice to not reply. I'm all good. Oh, thank God you're safe. This that suicide report was all over the news, and Miss Kawakami said you went back to your hometown. I was honestly worried about your about contacting you. 
Even Sakamoto was dodging the question when I asked, I tried to ask him. But don't worry, I won't tell anyone. By the way, the fan site is a real mess right now. But I'll keep supporting you guys from the shadows. Good luck. You don't need to worry about it in here, but try not to do anything to draw attention. Anyways, today's a day off, so eat your curry and take it easy. You can take your time with the two. It's not like any customers are going to show up. I wish there was a thing we could do to get this place popular. Let's try and think of the keyword once the, chief, uh, the chief's curry has energized you. Like, rebuild LeBlanc. Make it, you know, I don't know, a success that it does a, generates a lot of income. Have you guys figured out the keyword to Shido's Palace yet? I tried all sorts of stuff, but no luck so far. I heard it, uh, it's hard to understand the thought process of a criminal mastermind like him. You know, I've been wondering, if he's been behind all those metal shutdowns, doesn't that mean all the weird accidents from these past few years was, were for his fault? Like the subway accident back in July, uh, April? Now that you mention it, the accident lost, uh, the accident lost the Minister of Transportation in his jobs, or transport his job. Wait, are you trying to say Shido caused that accident? But it's the, sub the subway. Does he not care about at all about the innocent lives? This man seems to be truly unbelievable. Supposedly there was still tons of victims from that in the hospital even now. Masayoshi Shido. How many has he killed over the years? How could he ever understand what goes? How could we ever understand what goes in, uh, on in the mind of a horrible man? Hey, wouldn't it be faster if we just go there and try and think about it on site? Let's try that. If we're going to go, I'd like Alex Kuhn to join us, but... Will that be okay? Won't somebody spot him there? Eh, we'll probably figure out the keyword in no time once we're there. Plus, I can throw off anyone who tails us with my blazing speed. Alright, let's uh, have Alex join us then, so cutscene time, I guess? Remember though, we're going in... Uh, we're going with the intent of not being seen. Okay, well let's meet in front of the Diet Building and force the Bastard's Palace open. Well, Alright. Let's head to the diet building. Make sure you aren't discovered, okay? Can I wear a mask? I know a few cool styled masks. Can I wear Wise Man's mask? From Xeno Gary's. That's a cool one. It's kind of silly. Oh, god damn the hoodie. You going out? That's the plan. You gotta be kidding me. You realize you're done for if you get caught, right? Dots. Jeez, the stunts you pull sometimes. Just don't stay out too late. The hoodie covers all. I think she isn't here. <laughs> Let's begin at once. I mean, that'd be kind of weird if you're just standing around. Round, so we can't stay here too long. We already have Masayo Shishido and Diet Building. All we need is what he thinks of this place. Maybe Empire? Mount Fuji, since it's the highest place in the country? You just learned that today in class, didn't you? Conditions have not met. What about a mansion? Nah, that's too simple. Since he's going to subjugate everyone as prime minister, perhaps a school? Huh, tell us how you really feel about school, Haru. What about an arena, like the Colosseum? Imperial Palace? It's no good. I thought we would have gained entry by now. Maybe we shouldn't have called you here. Hey, you think he's guarding his whole palace with a barrier? What do you mean? Shido stole the cognitive science research, right? Well, maybe it had some special move written in it. Is that even possible? That's a good question. I don't know. Who knows? I've got no idea. Thank you, Morgana. There was nothing like that in the notes I saw. Anyways, what kind of person is Shido? I can't figure him out. Uh, shady is his palace I shadows did research on him last night, but I couldn't get a grasp on the type of man he is The people in the background are they that cops man over there is probably a legislator, right? I'll try asking him All right, you're gonna go flirt with them aren't you? Excuse me. I'm a member of the newspaper club at my high school. May I speak with you for a moment? Sure <laughs> sure. What kind of person is Representative Shido? What's he think about the national diet? His stance is dedication for country. It's how he's garnered everyone's trust. Are you high? 
You sound like you're high. He's an admirable man of action with a first class determination. I'd say he's a model politician. I believe that he'll help create a wonderful future in which young adults like you can live in ease. Or maybe a robot. Are you a robot? Are you a high robot? An exemplary answer. It makes sense he wouldn't tell teenagers anything unnecessary. Look over there. He's on a walkie-talkie. How old-fashioned. Wait, is it about us? That doesn't look good. Well, let's leave! We should leave at once. Yeah! Tomorrow's a day off, so let's have an early strategy meeting. God damn Meet it! LeBlanc, okay? I got confidants to max out. We should all think about this tonight. You guys want to stay over? <gasps> Slumber party at LeBlanc's! Let's do it! On, you can braid my hair. On, do you know how to braid hair? The criminals calling themselves the Phantom Thieves are no more. However, I believe that this country's citizens are still living their days in anxiety. These scandals only increase our distrust of the current government. Oh, shit. No, go back. These scandals only increase our distrust of the current government. As a citizen myself, I am enraged. Do, do you guys ever do that? Just like... I don't know, just get twitchy with your fingers when you're holding a controller. What does it mean to be a politician with responsibility? <laughs> I don't know, that's a good question. Working toward personal gain without consideration of the country is outrageous. <sighs> the election's public notification is tomorrow. But no matter where I go, people are cheering for Shido. Everyone's being deceived so easily. Yeah, people usually are. Tried looking into, uh, tried looking Shido's interviews up online. They also sound, sound so goddamn fake. I checked his profile as well, but I couldn't find much outside of his title and education. He's currently 53 years old and has gone from being a metropolitan assemblyman to a representative. Though he is a combat uh, cabinet minister, he split from the ruling party to form the United Future Party. What a dumb name! Shido's a cabinet minister for real? He was specially appointed to the position. That's his current title. Apparently, he also won a contest for who people would most like uh, would most like to have as their boss. Even the news site write about him as though he's assured to become the prime minister. If only we can find out the meaning behind Shido's words. In order to save this country that has been tainted by villains, social reform is essential. I, I'm with you. What is a cabinet minister? <laughs> what is... When did we get that flag? Has that flag been there, there the entire time? What's with all the love for Shido? I get no one knows the truth about him, but it still creeps me out. No, I want to see the flag, Sofa. Now then. Wear a hood or something when you go out. Yeah, I will. But like, has this, has this banner been here the entire time? No, it hasn't. It couldn't have been. Maybe before he went into the actual palace, but there's no way that thing has been there the entire time. Not the entire time, but like since they knew we were Phantom Thieves. Yeah, that's definitely new. So I gotta go to sleep, right? I only knew the keyword. Sleep. Is sleep the keyword? That would be my keyword, probably. Sleep is wonderful. Oh, dreaming's wonderful. Sleep is good. Laying down with your eyes shut is fun as well. Dreams are cool. Dreams are weird. Sometimes, though. I might have told this stupid dream that I had a lot. Like, it's one of those dreams that will never, I will never forget. But... <laughs> it was like, when I was playing Star Ocean 2 when it first came out, I had just beaten the game. And um, I, I like I had this dream that I was like at the final save point. And I was just standing there, and Dream Me was just like, "Oh God, I can't move. I'm only level one, and I'm in the final dungeon." And that was literally the dream. There's me yelling for help for a little bit before I woke up. It's so dumb, but I dreamt it, and it has stuck with me ever since. 
Anyways, I fortunately said that you're okay, but I'm still worried about you, so please let me know. I'm fine. I'm relieved to hear that. You appear to have avoided your destiny of death. However, I can't see anything past that. Please be extra careful. If you're unsure about anything, I'll be waiting at the usual spot. How many people are going to contact me? Afumi's probably next. Oh, yeah, the physician! I just a physician, I'd like to confirm something. Please contact me as soon as you see this. I'm still alive. Stop making me worry! I'm glad you're okay. I just got nervous when I saw the news. Well, I'll be at the clinic if you need any medicine. It's <sighs> nothing with a fan of these on TV. Oh, that's right. Aren't you all supposed to be gathering here today? Make sure you finish eating up before everyone shows up. It's almost time for our meeting. I wonder if anybody has figured out the keyword. How many people know that I'm a fan? All my max confidants know. Hi, Sai. Are you a part of the team now? Diamond mine. Ooh. I mean, yeah, that, that could be one. No good. Sai, any suggestions? How many do we miss? Perhaps he truly does have a barrier up. Right? That's not something to be excited about. <laughs> you know all the way up to diet building too. So you enter keywords into the metaverse navigator. Boss, can you turn the TV on? Shido might be on it. Sure thing. Oh, it's a catchy. Goro a catchy. Him and his stupid composed face. Oh, well, he's a good actor. So, Akechi-san, is it true you withdrew yourself from the media as part of your plan to capture the Phantom Thieves? I truly apologize for causing such a stir. Honestly, it required a lot of courage to openly oppose them when their popularity was at its peak. I mean, people often lashed out at me online and whatnot. Oh, poor you. Then was it also your plan when you said they weren't at fault after their popularity declined? That was to catch them off guard. I could say I applied my profiling knowledge. Once they lost public support, someone they thought was their greatest enemy led to hand. That's the same strategy used in romance, wouldn't you agree? Is it? What rom- well... That may be romance like novels. Treated as an ace detective of justice. Oh, Haru's pissed. It's not just on TV or online, newspapers, magazines. I see his face everywhere. On the other hand, no one's hoping for our comeback on the fan site. Like, at all. The Phantom Thieves are evil. Shido and Akechi are just. It should be the other way around. They're manipulating information using the media. Shocking. Leaving Akechi aside, we'll get back at him later. Our main issue is Shido. Were there any instances before when you didn't know the palace keywords? Oh, that's a good question, actually. Is there? I, I'm pretty sure... The choice usually fell on me, and whatever I chose usually was... Oh, is that true? What about the mob boss guy? Kind of Shiro. Well, there was the time with Futaba. Uh, okay, yeah, that's true. We didn't know anything about her, so all we could do was make conjectures. So we should go stand outside Shido's room and ask him questions. Then why don't we just go directly and see Shido? That'd be weird. That's impossible. He's surrounded by bodyguards and followers all the time. I, I might have suggested it, but that would be weird. Because I think he knows all of you because of Akechi. There's no way high school students can get an appointment with him either. I mean, but like, Akechi probably told them all about you guys? Well, we do have an adult with us. No, that's still impossible. Besides, that's too dangerous a method. Well, this is a problem. What's with the ruckus outside? My parade? Oh, is that Shido? Isn't that an election campaign car? Oh, right! The candidates are currently campaigning! 
Oh, quick, someone just jump in front of that car. That voice. I apologize for the commotion. I am Masayo Shido. Wait, did he just say Shido? No, he said Yoshi. Yeah, he did. Oh, man. I, I really want to try to use Yoshi's voice right now, but I don't think it's a good idea. Especially since I'm posting this on the internet. Yeah, oh, you're remembering now, dog, right? It sounds like the same voice I heard back then. Hmm? Man, talk about being lucky. <laughs> we can go check him out without an appointment now. I mean, that is luck. I mean, he's not wrong. Very convenient. Hey, Ryuji ran off toward the station. Well, Haru's with him too. I'm sure she'll keep him Let's safe. Play. Hurry! Probably. By the way, did something happen? It didn't seem well a moment ago. Uh, I mean, yeah, something did happen, but you know, we'll we'll talk about that next time. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like below. If you're not subscribed yet, when you head to my video section, check out some of the content and see if it's to your liking. Once again, thank you for watching. Up, you all have a great day.